I am going to be making a hooded towel for baby Audrey and I figured that maybe you guys would like to see it too. So I just want to go over the materials that you'll need. You'll need a regular size bath towel, this is just from Target, a hand towel. You'll need, it's. I think it's a 4 by 25 inch piece of fabric. I just have a, I think it's a half yard here, of just a fabric that I like. This is by Amy Butler and it's from I think the Love Collection. So if you guys don't know about Amy Butler, you should check her out. And then I have um, 54 inches of big rickrack. So this is just the thick rickrack. And that is just for um, decoration. So you don't have to have this if you don't want. I just have scissors and a rotary cutter and my acrylic um, cutting measuring board. So I'm going to link the directions below and I'm just going to show the steps as I do them. All right. So the first step is to cut your hand towel, which this is what it is. It looks a little long, but this is just the hand towel to 24 inches. So on my board, my 24 inches is right here. So I just lined it up against the line and I'm going to cut it at zero and it actually lines up right on that dark line. So I'm just going to cut down that line. So I've cut my hand towel and the next thing you're going to do is cut your strip of fabric um, four inches wide by 24 inches long or 25 inches long, excuse me. And it's a little hard to show so I'm just going to show the part that I've done so far. So this is going to be four inches wide by 25 inches long. So here is my four inch by 25 inch um, strip of fabric. And I forgot to iron this, so that's definitely a sewing no-no. You're always supposed to wash and iron your fabric, but um, just don't follow me on that step. So this is um, 4 by 25 inches, so now I have my fabric cut, my hand towel cut, and it's on to the next. Okay, the next step is to cut your rickrack into 25 inch strips, but I just had 54 inches, so I just cut mine in half, and I know that that'll be enough. So you take your... Um, strip of fabric that you cut and we're going to pin or I'm going to pin the um, rickrack to the right side of the fabric but I'm going to go ahead and iron this really quick so I can make sure I get a good so here's line. the rickrack all um, lined up you want to make sure that the edge of the rickrack is even with the edge of the fabric these aren't pinned on or anything so the next step I'm going to do is pin those in place I've pinned on the rickrack and so the next step is I'm just going to sew right down the middle of the rickrack. Um, just split the difference um, in the middle. So that will be my next step. So I'm going to go ahead and start running these through the sewing machine. Like I said, you're going to start um, and just sew those right down the middle. And let's see, you can't see my sewing machine. But I just have it set on a middle setting. And I'm just going to go through the middle of the rickrack. So I've sewn down the middle of all the rickrack. Um, I should have chose just a little bit of a lighter thread because um, it shows through a little bit, but it won't matter um, because, well, you'll see why. So I've sewn through this. The next step is to iron it flat. So for this step, um, start with your fabric upside down and you just fold it over, like fold the right side onto the wrong side and push it um, to where the seam is at the very edge. I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right or easily, but it'll basically, once you flip it over, all you will see is clean edge. So that's what I'm going to do. And then once you get this all flipped, you're going to press it with a hot iron with no seam. So this is all um, pressed. And I forgot to mention when you're, I hope, well, I'm going to add this in the beginning, but I forgot to mention that you should line your rickrack up so that they're opposites like this. That's how it looks the nicest, I think. Of course it doesn't matter too, too much, but I just think that looks the nicest. So this is all pressed. So when you flip it over then, 
it looks like this and so I'm going to go ahead and press it again to make this um, flatter and less bubbly and then we'll go on to the next step so make sure or now the next step is to fold your towel your hand towel um, lengthwise so see how that would open up so you're going to fold it lengthwise and you're going to pin your fabric strip about a half an inch to an inch um, off of the fold but don't pin it all the way through both um, both thicknesses just the top so I did I made that mistake the, when I made the, my first towel so just pin it in place um, about a half an inch to an inch from the fold and then um, just pin it pin it in place through the width or the thickness of the first towel so my pins are all in place and the next step um, you do is unfold sorry unfold the towel to where this is still in place on the top level and you're gonna sew about a quarter inch into this um, with a quarter inch I guess seam allowance on the edge of the fabric strip okay I hope you can see but I'm doing about actually an eighth of an inch um, seam allowance I just think that looks a little nicer but you can do up to a quarter um, it just has to be through the other I guess you could even do more than a quarter it just has to be through the other like the opposite side of the rick rack so the fabric strip is completely sewn on the, on the towel um, and the step we're gonna do now is to fold the towel in on itself with the right sides together widthwise so before you folded it lengthwise we're now gonna fold it widthwise with the right sides together that way the fabric rows right here are lined up. I'm going to stitch down these open edges of the finished part of the towel and you're going to leave this part open. Someone just woke up from nap time, <laughs> huh? Oh. So now that these are all the way sewn um, each side, go ahead and flip the towel right side out. So it's turned um, right side out. And you're going to take this corner and put it inside of this one. So it's a little hard to show, but um, I'm going to try. Take this corner and fold it into that one. I'll make it look better. So this is the towel all folded in on itself. So this will be what you can see is the hood. So you just pulled this corner into this one and tucked it in. Here's the raw edges. So here's it when you open it up so you can tell where the hood is. This part's a little tricky to under to explain. So these raw edges right here are showing and you can tell that this edge is a little longer. So you're just gonna take that up, kind of tuck it over and just stitch that in place. So now find the center of your bath towel and we're gonna pin it to the right side of this towel. So the hooded towel part is pinned to the towel part. Um, you can see it underneath here. And so you're just gonna use a one to one and a half seam allowance all across this and then your towel is my finished. one inch seam. I'm just gonna do a quick quarter inch seam down this so that this isn't like an open edge. And here it is finished on our model. <gasps> what do you think? A there she is. All right, enjoy.